Hello Vault Dwellers, this is an optimization guide for 2020 on Fallout 76. So first we're going to go to our in-game settings, we're going to go to display, we're going to enable full screen, we're going to go to present, and we're going to set it to custom. Now I have my texture quality set to high instead of ultra because I found out that on my RTX 2060 Super that I was actually maxing out the available VRAM. So by changing this to high I never hit that cap and I never get a stutter from that. Next I set water to high, lighting to low because the lighting effects in this game are too overpowering. They end up causing all sorts of screen distortion where it's just hard to see anything. So um, I have that set to low. Now shadow quality I have set to ultra and that's a personal setting. You can set yours to whatever you would like. If you're running lower hardware than I am, go ahead and turn it down. Shadow distance I have set to high, depth of field I have all the way turned down because I don't like depth of field at all. Field of view I have set to 100, but that's a personal preference. You can set it to whatever you would like. Actor fade, item fade, object fade, grass fade. I'll have set one step below the middle. And beyond that, um, that's all I got for the in-game setting. So we'll move over to the any. All right, so we're going to change our any files now. And in order to do that, what we're going to do is we're going to type in document. And I'm going to open my documents folder. I'm going to go to my games folder. I'm going to open Fallout 76's folder. And I'm going to right click on Fallout 76 prefs. I'm going to hit open with and then choose notepad. From there, we have all sorts of settings that we can change. And what I'm going to disable right off the bat is Voltrometric Lighting enable. I'm going to have that set to a zero. It might be a 1. If it's a 1, I would change it to a 0, and that will clean up the look of the game a bit, where the lighting effects aren't going to be so overpowering. I also changed eye voltrometric lighting texture quality to 0 as well. And over here where it says full screen, I like to have this set to a 1. I like to have borderless set to 0. On a previous machine of mine, and if I was running any game in border slip mode, it would cause a lot of uh, FPS loss. So I always have full screen enabled rather than borderless. Now, depth of field, I like to have that set to zero. And that's a personal preference. You don't have to change it if you don't want to. If you're having trouble running the game or you're running old hardware, you might want to change TAA to FXAA in all caps. But the most important setting that we have to change in here is I present interval. We're going to have this set from 1 to 0. That's going to remove the in-game frame rate cap and uh, in-game vsync, which is done horribly. So we're going to change that to 0 and we'll re-enable vsync or a game cap through the NVIDIA control panel or in some people's cases the AMD control panel. Lastly, the settings that I want to change are underneath the image space and I like to have depth of field set to off, BMB um, enable set to zero, lens flare set to zero, and screen space bokeh set to zero and that will also help clear up the aesthetic of the game and make things much more clear. So lastly we're going to go into the NVIDIA control panel. To open our NVIDIA control panel what we're going to do is we're going to right click on our NVIDIA icon down there we're going to hit NVIDIA control panel. If it's not there, you can type NVIDIA control panel right here if you're running an NVIDIA card. From here, what we're going to do is it will normally open up into this screen and we would go down to manage 3D settings. From here, we're going to select programs. And right here, we're going to want to have Fallout 76. Now, if you click the drop down menu, it might be in there, but if it is not, what you're going to have to do is hit add. When you hit add, you're going to hit browse. And when you hit browse, you're going to want to go to wherever you installed Fallout 76 to. You're going to want to find out uh, where this Fallout 76.exe file is, which is right here for me, which is in storage, Steam games, Steam apps, common, uh, Fallout 76. But for you, it might be different. Yours might be underneath the C drive. Because I have dual hard drives, I run mine on the D drive. Right after that, it's selected. I'll have all these different options uh, to change for this game in specific. So I'm going to go down to low latency mode and I'm going to change this from whatever it's set to to ultra. 
And then uh, lastly, if you're running a screen that is not G-Sync compatible, you're going to want to use V-Sync in order to get rid of screen tear. Um, unless you don't mind screen tear, then you can have it off and then just have your frame rate completely uncapped. But if you're running G-Sync, have this on. And that also goes for the FPS, max FPS setting. Don't enable that unless you're using a G-Sync monitor. Otherwise, just go for the full speed at which the game can run. So this is what you can expect your game to look like after changing all the settings that we've just gone over. And so far the game's running fairly well. It's uh, fluctuating between 72 to about 80, maybe 90 FPS. Um, I do get the occasional stutter and jitter every now and then, but that's probably due to the fact that I have the game installed to a standard hard drive and not an SSD. But it's a much more playable experience than it had been. Uh, before the changes, so I'm very pleased with the with the look and the feel of the game at this point. If you have any settings or tips or tricks that you'd like to discuss or you felt that I should have uh, gone over in this video, I would like you to share them down below. I'm open to more information. I'd like to have uh, I'd like to get this even more optimized if possible. And so uh, please share, and I'm sure it will help somebody else in the future as well. So thanks for watching and see you guys in the wastelands.